Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Yay, it's a video that actually you're kind of taking control of. You're going to tell me uh, a little bit, a bit about what's going on. The NBC schedule just got released. It did. Like this week? Earlier this week, as we're recording yeah. this. We're recording this on a Thursday, and it came out, I think, on Monday of this so past you week. you have all of the statistics. Uh, I, I kind of hid my eyes from it and online as well because I knew that you wanted to talk about it. Yeah. I knew that you wanted to present it not only to them but for me so we can have a genuine conversation mm -hmm. about it. So I have no idea about the schedule or what games they're showing or what games they're not showing. Yeah. Um, so I thought we could have a little conversation and you could tell me a little bit about it. Sounds good. Remember last year when we were, talked about the NBC schedule? There was where, a where Wednesday we were? night rivalry and yeah. we, we, were in my, we were in my truck in Nova Scotia waiting to get on the ferry to come back to Prince Edward Island after the Stanley Cup parade in Halifax with Sidney Crosby. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we sat in the truck. I had the stats. We talked about uh, the schedule. Mm. I gave my re review of what I how I thought the schedule was going. And uh, this year, here we are a year later. It's August 2018. Hard, hard to believe it's been a year. It, it really does because it seems like just the other day we did that one. But NBC is back. Uh, they have the contract for another couple of years at least to do the NHL. And they've had the NHL for many, many years now. And they have it for a couple of more years yet. Uh, NBC has a couple of uh, properties. They have the main NBC network, which broadcasts coast to coast, perhaps with some regional coverage. Then they have NBCSN, or the NBC Sports Network. Right. Which, uh, being Canadians, we don't see that coverage hardly at all unless a local Canadian sports channel decides to pick up the NBC coverage rather than spend the money and put their own crew down into yep. Columbus or Arizona. I think we saw that a couple times in the playoffs. Couple of, yes, in, in the yeah. playoffs as well. So that will happen, and uh, we do get to see the odd time there's coverage. Of course, we're big fans of Doc Emmerich, who's often the play-by-play -play announcer on the main network and on the, the lead game on the sports network uh, for NBC when they do it. So NBC is... Uh, Basically, well, it's a national network in the U.S. They're coast to coast, but they have affiliates all across the country. And they will have, in this case, 109 or 110 games. Depends how you count them. Let's say 110 hockey games this year uh, that are going to be on either their main network or their sports regional. Uh, that seems low. Well, it's, it's as much or more than last time, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is. There's a few things they're doing that they didn't do last year. For one thing, they're going to show the All-Star game on their main network. Oh. which they have not done since the late 1990s. Where's the All-Star game this year? Uh, this year it's out in San Jose. Ah. Yeah. And they're showing All-Star Weekend. Now, there might be some events that will be on the sports NBCSN, but the actual All-Star game itself, which is going to be on a Sunday, obviously, uh, it's the uh, late, last, basically, full weekend in January. And uh, <clears throat> they're going to show the All-Star Weekend. And it's been... 1997 was the last time they had uh, any All-Star game on the main network. Wow. So it's always been relegated to the, just the sports arm of, the, of really? the network. Yeah. So in Canada, of course, it's a fairly big thing. Frankly, myself, we talked about this before, I couldn't give a rat's behind about the All-Star game lately. I just, I, I ended up watching it. Mm -hmm. I ended up watching it because the format wasn't that bad. But I just think they've totally divorced it from what it used to be back when the best players all played each other. 50% of you watched it just because you had to, so we could talk about it on the channel. That's, that's probably true. <laughs> and, and that 50% actually liked a bit of what he saw. Yeah. So I, I'll, I'll admit and confess that. Um, <clears throat> NBC has some interesting games coming up in their schedule. Uh, on uh, one of their earlier games, Wednesday, October 10th, it's Vegas, Washington. So oh. it's a rematch of the finals. Cool. Uh, a lot of the NBC games this time will start at 7.30 or 8 o'clock Eastern which is a bit earlier than they started last year, uh, which is much better for us here in Atlantic Canada. Yeah. So for those games, even if we're not getting the NBC coverage, we'll still get the same start time covered by our own sports channel, which would be great. <clears throat> um, they have a Toronto-Winnipeg game uh, coming up on Wednesday, October 24th. That's a strange one. It's a strange one, Toronto-Winnipeg. But they wanted to have Matthews and Lion A. In, uh, in a head-to-head. -head. That's actually, it's pretty smart. It is pretty smart, yeah. A lot of Americans actually have, the, like, they like their American teams, but they, I, I see a, a big trend of them choosing one Canadian team to cheer for. Yeah. So they probably enjoy 
will enjoy that actually. And Matthews probably has quite a following in the U.S. being an American player himself and Lion A being such a huge name and a big draft pick mm. uh, recently. So that'll be a nice game to watch. This is one of those Wednesday night games. Now back uh, last year, we made fun of it. They had rivalry Wednesdays and we, we picked out some teams that, you know, St. Louis and Buffalo or something like that. Yeah. Like, a rivalry? Are you kidding me? So they've, I think they were watching post to post. Obviously. They were they? obviously watching. So they went back and threw that away. Now they have Wednesday night hockey instead. So they're still going to focus a lot on Wednesday nights as well as, of course, the weekend times. And uh, they're going to show rivalry type or big big name, big matchup type games on Wednesdays okay. all year long. So that's, that's pretty good. I looked hard for original six matchups because I think if I were NBC and I wanted to sell the idea of hockey, I would dig into its history, especially... Uh, these days when I think people across many generations are looking for connections to, to their past, having a Detroit Chicago game or having a New York Boston game, I think is, is fabulous if they can do it. And I started counting and I used yellow highlighter to highlight all the original six games. And there's three pages of games here in this schedule of these 110. And I got all the way to the end of December October, November, December, no original six matchup. And I was counting and I thought, this is not going well for original six matchups. Then they redeem themselves and okay. they do have quite a few. There's a Boston, Chicago on January 1st, a Montreal, Boston on January 14th, which would be great. Chicago Rangers, Boston Rangers, Toronto Rangers coming up on a February 10th, Chicago, Boston. And then late in the season, there's a couple more. Uh, Chicago, Detroit, Chicago, Toronto, Rangers, Boston, Boston, Detroit. So I think as much as it didn't look good when I started going through the schedule, out of their 110 games, 10 of them are actual original six matchups. And I think that's pretty good. That's a, yeah, that's a pretty good percentage. I, I think so. I'll disagree a little bit with the importance of original six and diving into the history of, of hockey. I think there's so many teams now, people don't care, especially the young people. Yeah, you're right, but see, yeah, that's not me. I'm an old people. That's, yeah, so. you're, you are an old people. Yeah, yeah. The old goat. The, the old goat <laughs> with the goatee. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, the Winter Classic this year, January 1st, is going to be interesting. It's going to be held at Notre Dame Football Stadium in Indiana between uh, Chicago and Boston. I was going to say one team has to be Chicago because they play an outdoor game every single year. <laughs> Seems so. to be. Uh, and Chicago, Indiana's, like South Bend and Chicago aren't really neighborhoods of each other, like Gary, Indiana would be, but certainly Indiana is in the Chicago market, especially when it comes to hockey. So it's, Chicago, I think, is easily the home team in that, in that scenario. And Boston is visiting. Uh, they've got a really exciting team, and I think that'll be great. January 1st, yeah, New Day. Yeah, it's, it, I, like, I, I am excited for these outdoor games, it's just... There's so many. Yeah. There's like four this year, I think. Um, well, there's only two on this list. There's, there's four last year. Yeah, there's there's the Winter Classic, and then there's the Stadium Series. Stadium game. Series, and there's the Centennial Series, uh, Centennial Classic. Is that happening, though, this year? Well, I mean, talking about like last year. I think oh, okay, four. oh, last year, yeah. It's like, holy crap, just, just, just tone it down with the outdoor games. Back off, Boogaloo. So there's two, at least on this schedule this year. If there's other outdoor games, I'd, I'd be surprised NBC wouldn't be covering an outdoor game. Yeah. So I think there's only two this year. But I honestly didn't inquire into that, so we could be wrong. The stadium series is happening on Saturday, February 23rd. It's Pittsburgh at Philadelphia, where the Eagles play in their football stadium. Cool. So it's going to be Lincoln Financial Field, and that'll be massive. That place will be rocking. Yeah, and Philly is is crazy about hockey and of course they had won the uh, Super Bowl oh yeah and there was a lot of push there to see if they could do as well in the NHL the same year uh, but here they'll be back uh, probably the Eagles will be strong again this year I'm guessing so it'll be quite an event mm. quite yeah. an event they will actually be, so be pretty good it'll be really good um, a few other little uh, stat stat uh, factoids uh, if you want to call it that I did a count as to how many games of each team we were going to be seeing. Because we did this last year and we thought it was very strange how one team would have like 16 games covered by NBC and then one team would have one. Yeah. Like I think Vancouver last year had like one game covered by NBC. Well that's one game more than they'll have this year. They don't have any this year? None. 
<laughs> now, being a Canadian team, I'm not surprised. I, I guess. But. Yeah, Vancouver has zero games, and Ottawa has zero games. Those are the only two teams in the NHL that will have no visibility on NBC's network at all. All right, well. But is anyone going to be whining? Chicago has to have a lot. Buffalo has to probably have a lot. Boston definitely has to have a lot. The Rangers, Philly. That's all I got. Yeah. Buffalo, not so much. Really? Buffalo, not so much. But the other teams are, they are, they are. The other teams you've mentioned, though, are are in pretty good shape. Chicago has the most games on NBC's air uh, this winter. 16? 19. 19. 19 games. Washington is next. So 19 of the 110 games have Chicago in them. Correct. Wow. (laughs) Dang. (laughs) That's what? That's uh, almost... 15%? Yeah, it's almost 20%. That's, that's pretty cool. Washington is next with 18. Stands to reason. Washington is the Stanley Cup champion. Yeah. Uh, but Washington's also a big sports market. So NBC is not fools. They oh, yeah. they don't just go with the successful teams, because if they did, Chicago would be near the bottom, based on last year's performance, right? Um, so Chicago, clearly, because of the market, because of the, I'm sure, research that NBC has done uh, of their audience, they know who their audience is, and where the eyeballs are, and... Clearly, they've made a corporate decision that Chicago is going to be featured yeah. more than any other team. Uh, after Chicago and Washington, we have Philadelphia next with 17, uh, Pittsburgh with 15, Boston 14, the Rangers 14, Tampa Bay with 12, Nashville with 12, hmm. Minnesota with 11, and St. Louis with 10. Hmm, I think Minnesota and Nashville is an increase from last year. I think you're right. All the other teams are in the single digits. Buffalo is five games. That surprises me, actually. Yeah, considering considering their location geographically mm-hmm. and the, what's happened to Buffalo in the off season, yeah, uh, the acquisitions that they've made, the s- star players that they have coming up, you'd think that they'd want to give the team a little bit more exposure. But I understand their that they are reluctant based on recent history of the success of or lack of success of the team. Yeah. So. And it could be that the being butted right up against the Canadian border, Buffalo doesn't have hardly any fans, yeah. only a couple of miles away from its re- arena. That's true. You can be in the Buffalo arena and see Canada. Yeah. It's that close. Yeah. Just like Detroit has some front fans in Windsor and Sarnia, but Southern Ontario is basically locked in for Toronto. Yeah. And uh, even all the way up to the Canada-U.S. border along the Niagara River, there's no question. There are some... Buffalo fans over in Fort Erie and all of that. There's no question there. But the majority of fans, uh, the NBC fans, the ones that NBC reaches, uh, Buffalo is kind of in a corner. Mm. So that, that could be it. Maybe not. What do you think the highest Canadian team is for games? Toronto? Not quite. Montreal? Nope. I don't know. The Edmonton Oilers. McDavid. McDavid. Must be. They're airing seven Oilers games hmm. on NBC, which I think is a huge increase for all the Canadian teams. So when you look at them all, Edmonton's getting seven games, which is more than Detroit, hmm. which is shocking, really. Detroit's only getting six games. Buffalo's getting five, as I mentioned. Toronto's getting six. So Edmonton seven, Toronto six. Montreal is only getting wow. one game. Calgary's getting two. I, should, I actually made two copies here. I should be giving one to you. Yeah, come on here. Well, I, I gotta, I gotta cough it up. Uh, Arizona only has two games, but I was really surprised that that uh, I guess it was Columbus only had two. That was my biggest surprise in this whole list. The Columbus yeah. Blue Jackets, an exciting team, and I think in an exciting market, two games on NBC. Minnesota has eleven. Columbus has two. That yeah. seems strange. I can get Minnesota having 11, and they, they deserve 11, maybe even more than 11, just because of the hockey culture of, of that whole market up there. But uh, Columbus, two games? What are you doing? What's going on? I mean, you can't have... New Jersey only has two games. You can't have Philadelphia with 17, Pittsburgh with 15, and Columbus with two. Yeah, and New Jersey They're with all two. right there. They're all right there. And, and why would the Devils have two and the Rangers have, like, uh, 14? Uh, I, I don't quite get it. Now, the Islanders... They have even worse. They're even worse off. Only one game, and that could be. I don't even know if it's a home game or away game. I should have a look at that because maybe it's just because they can't get decent TV equipment in the Barclays Center. 
or they don't know where they're going to play because they're switching back and yeah. forth, and it's just too complicated. So. It's a home game against Chicago on January 3rd. So, yeah, we'll see where it ends up. But uh, one game for the Islanders and, like, in the mid-teens for the Rangers. Hmm. NBC knows what they're doing, and NBC is not there to make you happy or me happy or the viewers at home happy. They're there to make money for their shareholders. This is probably a formula that will work for NBC. Hmm. I still am curious, though. Surprised Vegas isn't higher, actually. They're at 9. Thought they might be up into 15. Me too. I thought they'd be in the teens. At least a dozen. But Interesting. Well, yeah. thanks for providing this information and having the conversation this, in discussion with me. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Being Canadians, we'll probably only see or have access to, on a regular basis, the weekend games. And there aren't that many of those. NBC typically focuses on other sports on the weekends through most yeah. of the winter. But they do get into hockey, usually coming March, early April, on a Sunday afternoon or even yeah. a Saturday afternoon. You'll see some NBC games. That's when I watch most of my NBC games, on the afternoon on a Sunday. Yeah. And... We have that choice because usually that same game is being broadcast in Canada with a Canadian network and we can make a direct comparison between the yeah. two because it's on the NBC main network for a change. Sometimes sometimes we will be watching sports and be like, oh my God, Paul Romanuk, let's no. see who's on NBC. Oh, it's Doc. It's like Doc. It's... And then it's like, oh my God, Doc, you stop using on. Like it's just, I can never yeah. go back to it. As much as I like Doc, he started to annoy me this year. Yeah. He, he, he had these turns of phrase, repetitive things that he kept saying over and over again and it bothered me yeah. and i feel bad about that because everything else about doc emmerich the way his voice rises and falls with the play he's the most exciting announcer on the go but he needs to watch some tapes of himself <laughs> and reprogram his brain a little bit because his use of the word on like yeah. you say dumps the puck on in on in like he just on just becomes this word that he sprinkles in on every sentence that he does mm. and it's on driving me on crazy <laughs> and i just hope that over the summer, he's had a chance to reflect. Still my favorite. No question. Yeah. He's, he's, the, he's the doc. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. appreciate it. Um, thanks for joining me for this video. Thank you. Uh, we'll be making lots of videos in the near future. So if you're not subscribed, I hope you can hit the subscribe button. If you did like this video, please hit the like button down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.